nasal endoscopy is a common diagnostic procedure performed by an otolaryngologist or ear, nose, and throat doctor. A nasal endoscope is a slender, rigid instrument that uses fiber optics to allow visualization into tight areas in the nasal passages. It is typically connected via a camera to a screen and recording system. Nasal endoscopy allows detailed and magnified examination of the internal nasal anatomy. This can help determine a cause of a stuffy or obstructed nose. It also allows accurate diagnosis of sinusitis. For patients with nosebleeds, it can help identify the source of bleeding. It allows for quick diagnosis of nasal polyps or tumors of the nasal cavities. The procedure is very safe. It causes minimal discomfort and therefore does not require any sedation. Additionally, it does not involve any radiation exposure as opposed to CAT scans and x-rays. Risks and side effects of nasal endoscopy are minimal. The procedure may result in mild and temporary discomfort. Nosebleeds may occur, but are usually minor. Some patients notice some increased congestion and nasal irritation that usually resolves within 24 hours. During the procedure, the patient's nose is first treated with a spray that decongests and numbs the nasal membranes. This minimizes any discomfort from the procedure. After allowing a few minutes for the numbing spray to take effect, the procedure begins. The endoscope is advanced through each side of the nose and various areas of the nasal cavity are systematically examined. Here, we see the opening to the eustachian tube on the right side. At peak ear, nose, and throat, we primarily utilize pediatric size endoscopes, which allow visualization into tight spaces while further minimizing patient discomfort. The endoscopic examination is recorded using video or still photos, both for documentation purposes as well as to allow us to review findings with the patient after the exam. Here on the left side, some infected mucus is seen draining from one of the sinus cavities. When infected material is identified, a sample can be collected for culture. This allows antibiotic therapy to be tailored to the specific bacteria affecting the patient. Here, a small culture swab is used to collect a sample of the material as it exits the sinus into the nose.